What's up guys? So today we are doing the 2,000 meter world record attempt on the rowing machine. So if you guys did not watch my last video, which I think it's somewhere up here, I don't know how this works, I did, can I run, row I should say, a 5k faster than I can run a 5k. So we're going to see today if I can actually go for the world record. Because when I looked up my time for rowing, it was actually very impressive. So we're going to see if I can row this 2,000 meters at world record pace. I already warmed up, so let's get into this 2,000 meters. Alright guys, and we are off. So I never thought that I would actually be attempting this world record. I've actually never really used a rowing machine in my life. This is probably like no more than the 20th time I've touched a rowing machine. I did a little bit while I had an injured ankle and while I was in Austin, but I mean, probably only 5 or 10 times at most for only about 10, 15 minutes a time. So right now I am going out really fast. I'm trying to make sure that I'm hitting world record pace or pretty close to it. I have to be doing 12.6 miles per hour or 111 per 400 meters. Now there are two different weight classes. There are a lightweight and heavyweight, and lightweight is under 165. So I am obviously lightweight being at 140 pounds. So the world record for that is 556.73. So I do not make the first 400 and 111. I actually do it in 114. So it is a little bit slower than what I would want my first 400 to be. And at this point, you guys can see I've sl I'm starting to slow down because my legs are just feeling it. There's just a lot of lactic acid build up in my legs. My lungs aren't doing too bad and my arms aren't doing too bad, but I am starting to build up a lot of lactic acid. Now the reason I'm going for this world record and I will be training for this world record is because I didn't realize how fast my 5k was. If you have not watched my last video on me rowing a 5k, go check out that video if I can row a 5k faster than I can run a 5k. So spoiler, I did end up doing it in 1818 and I actually looked up the world record before I did this. And the world record for the 5K was 1454 all time. And for lightweights, it was 1603. So I'm actually pretty close to that world record as well. And I just wanted to attempt this world record, see how far away I was at this 2000 meter world record. And then on my days off from running, I'm going to start doing some rowing to really see if I can get to that world record. Because the two main things I'm going to have to do for this world record is to have more lung capacity, a bigger VO2 max, which I'm going to get from training, you know, from running itself, so I don't have to worry about that. And then leg strength, because my legs did start building up lactic acid, you know, during the first 400 meters of this, and that's what's really getting me from going from 10 miles per hour, you know, 11 miles per hour to that 12, 12.5, 12.6 miles per hour that I need to be doing for this. So at this point, I'm about halfway done. I don't know exactly when I hit my 1K. I think it was a 13.19. I think that's when I hit my 1K. So I definitely slowed down. You know, at this point, I'm doing about 10.5 miles per hour, 10.6 miles per hour. As you can see, I'm really trying to pull with my back more than my legs because my legs are feeling too fatigued at this point. And so I have to just really pull with my arms as fast as I possibly can. It's like I know at this point I have no chance of actually breaking the world record, but my goal at this point is to get the fastest time I can get because the closer I am to that world record means the less time I'm going to have to shave off as I start training for this. And this is not some big goal that I want to achieve. This is just something I will be training for or attempting just to see if I can actually get a world record. Like to have a world record under my belt 
is awesome. Now, yes, if it's something I trained for, it's gonna feel better because I feel like I accomplished something, but just having a world record in general would be awesome. And for me not doing any training and to be really good at this, you know, this may be something I'm good at and this may be something I actually try to pursue in my life because, you know, I never thought I would be this good. Now, this is different than rowing on, you know, obviously going and rowing on an actual lake. It's a lot different than that, but for me to be this good is still amazing in itself. So my next video I'm gonna be posting is going to be runner tries Wim Hof method to make him run faster. So I did a video on this two years ago and I'm gonna be doing this again where I do some 100 meter sprints and I see if the Wim Hof method will actually make me sprint faster. So stay tuned for that video. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be an amazing video. But let's get back to this video. I'm finishing up right here. I have about a little less than 400 meters left. And at this point, I'm hitting like 10 to 10.2 miles per hour. I'm starting to really slow down. And I'm trying to make myself, you know, just as hard as I can. I can't even talk. I'm just trying to make myself go faster at this point. I'm trying to really push myself, I should say. I'm trying to use those legs and use my arms and just do everything I can because I know that going at that 10 miles per hour is just not fast enough. You know, I, I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I did this for the 5K, I need to be going faster in this. So as you can see, I am picking up my pace. I start getting upwards of 10.8 to 11 miles per hour at this point. And I'm actually starting to cut down time a little bit because I wanted to make sure I at least got under seven minutes and it'd be nice to be less than a minute away from the world record. So I am really pushing at this point. My whole body's feeling it, my lungs, my legs are on fire. I want to give up, but I know I have to keep pushing at this point because I have to get that world record time. So I have to keep pushing. You know, the closer I am at this race, is the closer I'm gonna be for training for this world record. And boom, I end up getting six minutes and 50 seconds. As you guys can see, I'm super sweaty. I ended up doing that in 650, which is 54 seconds off the lightweight world record. So they have two different indoor world records for rowing, which is lightweight, which is under 165 or above 165. And I'm obviously lightweight. So I'm gonna be training for this. I will be trying to get this world record. It's, I'm not that far off. Most of it was just my legs being fatigued, my lungs a little bit, and obviously my upper back was feeling a little fatigued at the end as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, check out my last videos and I will see you guys in another video. Peace out, bye.